I would like to welcome the senior class president, George Estrada, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good afternoon. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem performed by Bianca Wesley. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I would like to present to you our principal, Miss Susan Seal. Now it's my privilege to introduce our special guests. Dr. Donna Mills, Chairman of the Board, representing District 3. <laughs> Ms. Debbie Hawley, Vice Chairman of the Board, representing District 1. <laughs> Ms. Carol Hilson, School Board Member, representing District 2. <laughs> Mr. E. Wayne Gent, Superintendent of St. Lucie Public Schools. Dr. John Prince, Deputy Superintendent. Dr. Kevin Perry, Assistant to the Superintendent. Mrs. Latricia Woolard, Executive Director of Schools. Mrs. Lisa Davenport, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Nikki Capani, Assistant Principal. Mr. Alex Oje, Assistant Principal. Ms. Regina Roberts, Assistant Principal. To the parents, guardians, friends, relatives, and staff of Treasure Coast High School, I say good afternoon. 
I would also like to acknowledge the honored guests and dignitaries who are sharing the stage with me today. Thank you so much for your support in helping us celebrate our students. To the students in the audience, I say good afternoon and congratulations. I am so honored to be able to address you today. You're a special group of young people and we are all here to celebrate your achievement. I'd like to speak to you today about the importance of counting up. Too often in our lives we hear the term countdown. While most times countdowns refer to very positive events such as graduation, weddings, the launch of a rocket, shopping days till Christmas, New Year's Eve, they epitomize the event as being the ultimate goal for the current time. Once we've completed the countdown, what next? There's usually a feeling of letdown. That's it? It's over? What next? How do we move on to the next life event? How do we find the next opportunity to count down? Instead of feeling bombarded with those questions, I'd like for you to flip this concept and instead of counting down, begin to count up. After all, this is the way you were taught to count when you were a toddler. You began with one and worked your way upward. Do you remember the celebrations and applause and the recordings you gained at each goal? You're bragged on. He can count to 10. She can count to 20. <gasps> Listen to him count by tens. Many of you still actually use that da technique daily in your lives. How many of you are gamers? Guess what? You're already adept at counting up because the game designers recognize the appeal that rising to a new level releases dopamine, which is the feel-good transmitter in your brain, and you immediately respond to that by setting new goals for yourself, and you begin to strive to meet them. Who knew? So I'd like for you to expand your skill of counting up to setting and achieving professional goals. Take the first step you need to accomplish that goal. And in the classic words of Nike, just do it. Many of you have already accomplished steps in your professional career with industry certifications and advanced coursework. You are well set up to count up to the next step. Others of you may be setting those professional goals now that you've graduated. Some of you have told me that you're frightened at setting out. Set that first achievable goal, take the first step and accomplish it. The second step will become so much easier because you've already accomplished the most basic and concrete part of your goal and continue to count up to your next level. Count up personally. Many of you have developed friendships in school that will last throughout your lifetime. Enrich your personal life by inspiring and affirming your friends. Count up. Each time you're able to develop your friends and enrich their lives and help them to see the benefits of counting up as well. Finally, count up politically. I was astonished to discover during our top 25 luncheon that many of our seniors are not registered to vote. This is the time for you to become politically involved in your community, state, and nation. I challenge you, dig into the sound bites on ads, bumper sticks, and rhetoric that you hear. Research the candidates, their backgrounds, their stances on the agenda that matter to you. Go past the party stance and the catchy slogans and find the candidate whose views and passions align with yours and how to com improve our community, state, and nation. Count up the, the elections that you vote in. Count up for each campaign that you are involved with. Count up to see the changes that can happen when your views and the views of the elected officials make our society a better place for all. If you choose to count up professionally, personally, and politically, you will achieve your goals. You will be successful, and based on the foundation you've set, you'll be able to live a life that you enjoy while contributing to improving the world that you will inherit. Students last, remember this one fact. You'll always have an identity. You'll always have a place to come home because you are Titan born, Titan bred.
as the proud principal of Treasure Coast High School, I applaud you, class of 2018. I'd like to ask Georgia Strada, the class president, to return to the podium to address the senior class. Good afternoon, school board members, Superintendent Gent, Assistant Superintendents, Administration, family, and graduates. It's truly an honor to be here before you today. It has been a long four years, but here we are, ready to graduate. We worked hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. We have a huge debt of gratitude to the following people. To our teachers, thank you for unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job to do it, but what you did for us went beyond the call of duty. You demanded excellence from us, whether or not we wanted to give it. You set the bar high and challenged us to live up to it. To our parents, Thank you for supporting us in more ways than it is possible to count. In the beginning, you dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothed for school. You herded us out the door to the bus stop or drove us to school yourselves. And all the way until now, you have supported us. To our custodial staff and lunchroom attendants, thank you for keeping our school clean and safe. You know better than anyone how messy we can be. To our principal, Ms. Seal, assistant principals, and all administration, thank you for keeping things running smoothly so our teachers could concentrate on us. To our guidance counselors, thank you for listening and trying to keep us on track to graduate. As you can see, behind each of us, there must have been at least a dozen people providing support in at least a dozen ways. The best way we graduates can show our gratitude is to make the most of the opportunity we've been given and go forward into the world with the intention of making it a better place for the generations that follow us. We'll pay that debt of gratitude forward. I have gotten to know a lot of you over the years, and I can honestly say that this class is full of potential. We are, we are a diverse student body with a diverse set of goals, and if we are able to fulfill our potential, we will change the world because all of our individual accomplishments are also the world's accomplishments. I have met some of the most talented and hardworking individuals here at Treasure Coast High School who will have no trouble completing the task of changing the world. My challenge to us is to find what we love and dedicate ourselves to it fully. I'd like to finish off with a quote um, from John F. Kennedy. We must, take the time to we must take the time to thank those who sacrificed for us. As the saying goes, tighten bread, Tight, sorry, <laughs> that's not how the saying goes. As the saying goes, Titan born, Titan bred. Thank you. Thank you, George. It is now my pleasure to recognize a number of students that have worked very hard on their studies throughout their high school experience. I'd like to recognize the students with honors designation. Please stand. Thank you. The students with high honors, please stand. Thank you. Top 10 students representing Treasure Coast High School, please stand when I call your name. Deanna Bowman ranked 10th with a 5.5 weighted GPA. Deanna plans to major in engineering while attending University of Florida. She has aspirations of owning her own architectural or civil engineering firm one day. Amanda Acevedo ranked 9th with 5.65 GPA. Amanda will be attending the University of Florida. She plans to major in political science with aspirations of becoming a lawyer and eventually a judge. Khadija Nefsi, ranked, ranked eight with 5.66 weighted GPA. Khadija will also be attending the University of Florida to major in biology with plans to become an emergency room physician. 
Emmanuel Francois. Ranked seventh with a 5.72 G weighted GPA. Emmanuel will be attending Florida State University and plans to major in physical therapy or sports medicine. He would like to own his own physical therapy practice and also open a sports complex to encourage the growth and pro progress in youth, especially in an underprivileged community. Emily Marquez. Ranked six with 5.78 weighted GPA. Emily will be attending the University of Miami to major in health science and minor in public health with plans to become a trauma surgeon. Crystal Dela Cruz, ranked fifth. With a 5.87 weighted GPA, Crystal plans to major in biomedicine and minor in business administration at the University of Florida. Her goal is to become a cardiothoracic surgeon and to own a private practice that provides heart care. Rusni Petit Frere, ranked fourth with a 5.92 weighted GPA. Rusni will be attending the University of Florida and plans to major in mathematics. She plans to earn a master's degree and become an actuary. Famira LaFortune. Ranked third with a 5.98 weighted GPA. Famira will be attending Stanford University and plans to major in yeah. and plans to major in biology and international studies with aspirations of becoming an anesthesiologist. Famira is also the second Treasure Coast High School student to receive the Gates Scholarship. Out of 28 thousand applicants. She was one of 300 that it was awarded and it will cover 100% of her college costs. I would like to ask Mrs. Capani up to the podium to recognize this year's salutatorian and valedictorian. The next student I have the priv privilege of introducing is our salutatorian. Ashwarya Kalori. Ashwarya's family is here to support her. Ashwarya, will you please join me on stage? As a dual, dual enrolled student, Ashwarya completed all requirements and was awarded her Associates of Arts degree from Indian River State College, as well as the Advanced International Certificate of Education, ACE Diploma, through the University of Cambridge, simultaneously with her high school diploma. She has served in leadership roles as a part of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Key Club, Student Council, and HOSA. She has plans to double major in neurosciences and environmental studies and has aspirations to become a neurosurgeon. Ashwarya has earned a 6.05 weighted GPA. Everyone, please welcome the class of 2018's salutatorian Ashwarya Kalori. Good afternoon, school board members, Superintendent Jett, Assistant Superintendents, Administration, family, friends, and graduate. I would like to first thank my parents for their countless contributions that have helped me shape my future. I'm especially grateful for the support of my grandfather today as he traveled all the way from India to see me graduate. <laughs> I am also thankful for all the support from my friends who have kept me grounded and for supporting my future endeavors. Good afternoon, class of 2018. We did it. We're graduating. We have overcome every challenge that has been thrown our way to be in this exact moment. I've encountered a number of individuals throughout my high school career, and it is amazing to see the dedication and hard work everyone has exhibited. The class of 2018's graduation rate is the highest in Treasure Coast history. <laughs> the future for all of you is bright. 
I can go back and reflect on the last four years. Instead, I think it's more important to focus on where we will be in the next four years. Whether it's baking great bread, making up laws in the Senate, teaching future generations, or creating new music, all of us must make sure the word success is associated with what we do. Success is not given, it is earned. The journey to success will contain many ups and downs, and it might not always go as planned. And that is the message I'll be sharing with you today. Do not lose sight of your end goal based on the circumstances you are temporarily placed in. You will be pushed to your breaking points, and you might even question your decisions to great extent, but trust the process. The future is in our hands. We have, we have the power to be the change we wish to see in the world. The class of 2018 will make that change. Wherever the roads may take us after this day forward, always be true to yourself and follow your passions. I know the class of 2018 will be successful and we are more than prepared for what the world throws our way because we will fight for our dreams and no one can silence our words. So what do you say, class of 2018? <laughs> do you think the world is ready for us? <laughs> Thank you, Ashwarya. I would like to present you with a ring donated by Herf Jones in recognition of your academic achievements as class salutatorian. At this time, I would like to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2018, Alice Artika. Please join us on stage. Alice is joined this afternoon by her parents, siblings, and other proud family members. Alice has earned her Associates of Arts degree from Indian River State College in just a year and a half. She is also the first Treasure Coast High School student to receive her Advanced International Certificate of Education, ACE Diploma, as a sophomore. She has been a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, French Honor Society, Academic A-Team, and St. Lucie Youth Leadership Council. Alice was accepted to several prestigious universities, including Stanford, Princeton, and Brown. She has ultimately decided to attend Stanford in August as they offer a human biology pre-med track where she can focus on social and cultural global health. Alice has earned a 6.22 weighted GPA. Everyone, please welcome the class of 2018's valedictorian, Alice Artika. Good afternoon, school board members, Superintendent Gent, Assistant Superintendent, Administration, family, friends, and graduate. Wow, it is an absolute honor being here today and speaking in front of all of you. Before I start my speech, I would like to thank God for giving me the strength, courage, and determination throughout my high school journey. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to thank my mother and father for being here today, and as they're the foundation of my support system and the main reason why I'm here standing. I remember the days where I would come home from school worried, stressed, with high alarming levels of anxiety, and my parents would be the one that stopped what they were doing and ask me, Alice, how was your day? Are you okay? Because of my parents, alongside with my two sisters, I am where I am today. They're the foundation and I hope I've made you all proud. At this time, I would like to personally tell my family how much I love them and thank them for all the sacrifices and the hard work they did for me. Mami, Papi, Alessa y Esther, los amo demasiado. Ustedes son el motor de mi vida. <laughs> gracias por amarme como soy y gracias por todos los sacrificios que hicieron para verme sonreír y gracias porque por ustedes yo estoy cumpliendo mis sueños. Secondly, I want to talk about education. Education to me means more than just getting good grades or studying all night. Education to me is my gateway for breaking all the barriers and stereotypes that are set on immigrants. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am an immigrant. I moved here from Honduras in middle school, and 
and my struggle was very harsh. I still struggled at school. Even though I knew conversational English, my science education was limited, my math skills were below average, and to be honest, I didn't even know how to write an essay. However, through hard work and dedication, I have learned to cultivate a passion and lifelong love for the thing that once brought me so much confusion and frustration, my education. I'm not going to stand here today and give you a big lecture of how education is important, but I also want to say how proud I am of everybody here. Today, as I look around our diverse class of 2018, the word conquer comes in mind. I want you all to acknowledge how much you've made it here. We've all been through hardships, we fought our battles, but together we sit here in union, celebrating and finishing one of the most important chapters of our lives. I would like to finish with something that has given me strength throughout my high school years and will continue to do so. Joshua 1.9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, and do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be here wherever you go. So, class of 2018, I hope that you remain strong and courageous and you find that special something that gives you strength. Keep on conquering the world. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Alice. I would also like to present you with a ring donated by Herf Jones in recognition of all of your academic achievements as valedictorian. And now, I'd like to ask that our Principal, Mrs. Seal, and Superintendent, Mr. Iwe Gent, to come up to the podium to give their acceptance of the class of 2018. Distinguished members of the school board and Superintendent Gent, as Principal of Treasure Coast High School, I present to you the graduating class of 2018. I certify that they have met the graduation requirements of the School Board of St. Lucie County and the State of Florida. I accept the 2018 graduating class from Treasure Coast High School. Mrs. Seal, you may award their diplomas at this time. Thank you, Mr. Gent. At this time, will our guidance counselors for the upper school, Mrs. Parham, Ms. Kelly, Ms. Corden, Mrs. White, will now begin the roll call. Please raise the first line. Alice Artica, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Ash Ashwarya Kalori, graduating with high honors, her ACE degree, and her AA degree. Famira LaFortune, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Rusni Petit Freer, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Crystal De La Cruz, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Emily Marquez, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Emmanuel Francois, graduating with high honors, his ACE diploma, and an AA degree. Khadija Nevsky, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. Amanda Acevedo, graduating with high honors, and his ACE diploma. Deanna Bowman, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma, and her AA degree. George Estrada, senior class president. 
Zamir Adala, graduated with honors. Shelby Abdella. Anthony Vincent Sabatino. Henrique Ablala, graduated with high honors. Abdel Abnezer, graduated with honors. Kevin Asel, graduated with honors. Savannah Asel, graduated with honors. Angelica Achabar, graduated with honors. Woody Adrian. Jalen Aguilera graduating with high honors. Arlie Antlis graduated with honors. Marlene Alice graduating with honors. Giovanni Alberto Rivas graduating with high honors. Eurich Alsi. Luke Spalding. Louis Alexis. Winelson Alexis. Emily Alice, graduated with high honors. Jessica Alteen. Brinson Alteen. Monique Alves, graduated with honors. Andrea Antoine, graduated with high honors. Emerete Antoine. A magical honor, graduated with honors. Selena Askew. Corey Davis graduated with honors. Jamela Atherton. Maisha Augustine. Nicole Aviles graduated with honors. Gabriela Aviles. Alyssa Baglia graduated with high honors. Princess Bailey. Tyson Bailey, graduating with high honors. Susan Ballard, graduating with high honors. Brenda Barentes, graduating with honors. Whitney Barthamu. Shante Baz. Destiny Bazin. Alejandro Bacar. Armstrong Belazare. Brittany Benjamin, graduating with high honors. Richelin Benjamin, O'Neill Bennett, Keon Beverly, Alexa Benning, graduating with honors, Mia Lynn Blackburn, Tyler Bagrove, graduating with honors, Brianna Bland, graduating with high honors, Stephen Blaskow, graduating with honors, Shamari Blue, graduating with high honors. Donovan Bonilla, graduate with high honors in his associate sorcery. Jason Bonomo, graduating with high honors. Carl Bordu, graduating with honors. Sydney Bauman. Connor Boyles, graduating with honors. Antoinette Bazo, graduating with high honors in AA degree. Bautista Bragado, graduating with honors. Nicole Bro, Sinise Brin, Alvaro Bersino, Kayla Brinson, graduate with high honors. Angelica Briscoe, graduate with honors. John A. Britton, graduated with honors. Victor Brock. Peyton Barmello. Andrew Brooks. Cameron Brown, Christopher Brown, Naziah Brown, Kayleen Brown, and graduate with honors. Nicholas Bruce, graduate high honors, ACE diploma. Troy Bryan, Brian Burgess, Karina Burleson, Alexander Borshoff, Tariq Butler, Luana Cottison, graduate with honors. Johan Claudio, graduate with honors. Elijah Kajus. Lara Kalzan, graduate with honors. Kashna Kalix. Abdides Camacho. Raquel Camacho, graduate with honors. Kristen Campbell, graduate with high honors, ACE diploma. 
Tatiana Campbell, graduated with honors. Zachary Campbell, graduated with honors. Julian Casino, graduated with honors. Tatiana Canty, graduated with high honors. Christopher Caputo, graduated with high honors. Eni Carbello, graduated with honors. Kobe Carey. Thomas Carlson, graduated with honors. Ashley Carson, graduated with high honor. Tatiana Cartagena. Jacar Carter. Olivia Cantano. Alana Caesar, graduated with honors. Jasmine Charles. Nicholas Caesar. Ling Jin Chen, graduated with high honors. Joshua Chapa. Devontae Christie, graduated with high honors. Alyssa Close. Jonathan Colon. Quinn Collison, graduated with honors. Ariani Alamazer, graduated with honors. Brandon Contreras, graduated with honors. Jasmine Cook, graduated with honors. Kiwanis Cook. Melody Cordon, graduated with honors. Ash Anthony Corliss, graduated with honors. Travis Cornell. Alexis Correa, graduated with honors. Alexander Cordemilia, graduated with honors. Dylan Cotton, graduated with high honors. Kevin Cotto, graduated with honors. Michael Cover, graduated with high honors. Ebony Crawford graduated with high honors and AA degree. Samantha Crespo. Sean Crawley graduated with high honors. Fernando Cruz. Abner Cruz. Damian Cruz. Rochelle Cruz graduated with high honors. Jalens Cruz Alberto graduated with high honors. Victoria Seek graduated with honors. Patrick Quinoco graduated with high honors. Stephanie Daddio graduated with high honors. Nathaniel Daly. Renee Daly. Sky Del P graduated with honors. Cotton Daly graduated with honors. Aaliyah Daniel. Maurice Darby. Nader Dargo. Nick Darby. Julia DeChangas, Anthony, uh, Altine Davis, Tristan Day, graduated with honors. Dave Debish, Dominique DeCambre, graduated with high honors and perfect attendance. Katarina DeLeon, graduated with high honors. Emily DeLeon, graduated with high honors. Gustavo Delgado, graduated with high honor and an ACE diploma. Dudley Daly. Davis, Davis Dennis, Cameron Dennis, Paul DeJur, graduated with honors. Anthony DeVita, graduated with high honors. Kira DeWitt, Garen, graduated with honors. Hunter Diaz, Jonathan Diaz, Lillian Diaz, Anthony DiMario, Samantha, Samantha DeMayo, graduated with high honors. Jordan D. Sayado Dino graduated with high honors. Tony Ann Dixon graduated with honors. Hunter Doran graduated with honors. Isaiah Dorsley graduated with honors. Jean Joseph Philip Dorsino, Regine Dorfless graduated with high honors. Curvins Dorsalis, Antonio Dowling. Nally Durante graduated with high honors. Jean DeCosta, Brian Duke graduated with high honors. Angel Dunn graduated with honors. Christopher Durante, Rux Dubert. Jalisa Edie graduating with honors. Benjamin Edward. Hope Edwards graduating with honors. Michael Exioglu. Cheyenne Alarde, Jessica Elaharde, graduating with high honors.
Nathan Elias, graduating with high honors. Kevin Ellis, graduating with high honors. Anthony Encarnacion, graduating with honors. Eve Ennis, graduating with high honors. Janelli Escalante, graduating with high honors. Anthony Espinosa, graduating with honors. Keith Espinosa, graduating with high honors. Stacy Estemar. Cheyenne Fagundes, graduating with high honor. Ha Caitlin Farley, graduating with high honors and our ACE diploma. Damian Favela. Allison Fernandez. Genesis Fernandez, graduating with high honors. Samantha Ferrara, graduating with high honors and our ACE diploma. Pamela Figueredo, graduating with high honors. Bellamy Flora Saints, graduating with honors. Beatrice Ford Lee. Chanella Foster, graduating with high honors and our ACE diploma. Chantel Franco, graduating with high honors. Amar Francois. Maya Frank. Lexi Furia, graduating with honors. Zachary Fusen. Jaden Gachon. Norberto Gadia. Jonathan Galindo, graduating with high honors. Melody Galindo, graduating with high honors. Emma Gamble, graduating with high honors. Roxana Gamboa. Myra Garcia Palacio. Francisco Garcia. Krista Garcia, graduating with high honors, her AA degree and her ACE diploma. Sydney Gardner, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Julia Jenkinger, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Daylon George. Janelle Georges. Estelita Gibson. Alfred Gilbert, graduating with honors. Brianni Gill, graduating with honors. Shanti Gerling. Troy Gitlin, graduating with high honors. Jeffrey Glidewell, graduating with honors. Rebecca Godown, graduating with honors. Brandon Godwin. Kiana Goldman. Andrea Gomez, graduating with honors. Alexander Gonzalez. Gisela Gonzalez. Guy Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez. Thais Gonzalez. Joven Goen. Cameron Grace. Caldwell Grenier. Connor Gray. Alec Green. Aaliyah Griffiths, graduating with honors. Tiana Griffiths, graduating with high honors. Destiny Grioli. Zachary Grunstrom, graduating with honors. Caitlin Guadalupe. Jacob Gutierrez, graduating with honors. Stephen Guzman, graduating with high honors. Nathaniel Haddock, graduating with high honors. Michael Hatfield. Dontarius Hall. Dylan Hall, graduating with honors. Kyla Hall, graduating with high honors. Java Neal Hamilton, graduating with high honors. Genesis Handel, graduating with honors. Tashnia Hawk, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Brandon Harmon. Cache Harper, graduating with honors. Cameron Harrington, graduating with honors. Alexis Hart, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Trevor Hassler. Joshua Hawes. Connor Hayden, graduating with high honors and his AA degree. Dirk Hines, graduating with high honors. Trent Henley. Armando Hernandez. David Hernandez. Christina Herrera. Oswaldo Herrera. Eduardo Hippolito. Shade Hofstad, graduating with honors. Joshua Holgate. Juliet Holligan, graduating with high honors. Devin Hoppus, graduating with honors. Ma 
Magina Horace, Kyle Hovey, Colby Herring, Caleb Shee, graduating with high honors, Miguel Hudson III, Rhea Hughes, graduating with high honors, Caitlin Holka, Javon Hunter, Paige Hunter, graduating with honors, Abigail Hurst, graduating with high honors, Courtney Hilton, graduating with high honors, Jose Infante, Nathan Ingraham, Dakota Eisenhower, Brianka Isma, Hezekiah Israel, Christy Ivey, graduating with honors, Tiana Jackson, graduating with high honors, Victoria Hymas, Jeremiah James, graduating with honors, O'Shane James, Shauna K. James, graduating with honors, Alexander John Vier, Janata Jean Baptiste, graduating with high honors, Sydney Jean Lewis, graduating with honors, Gypsum Jean Mary, graduating with honors, Tiffany Jean Lewis, graduating with honors, Ashley Jenaton, graduating with honors, Judson John Pierre, Antoine Jenkins, Mishmana June, Gracie Jimenez, graduating with high honors, Kwai Johnson, Alexiera Johnson Benjamin, Chelsea Jones, graduating with honors, Kelsey Jones, graduating with high honors, Bianca Joseph, graduating with honors, Brazar Joseph, James Joseph, Luker Joseph, Vanessa Joseph, graduating with high honors. Katia Jules, graduating with honors. Lori Jules, graduating with high honors. Rochelle Jules, graduating with high honors. Paul Kine. Ryan Keough, graduating with high honors and his ACE diploma. Christopher Kessel. Calvin King. Noah King. O'Dane King, graduating with honors. Jordan Knapp, graduating with high honors. Daniel Kanar. Alana Knight, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Griffin Kosel, graduating with honors. Natasha Coolidge, graduating with honors. Justin Kusabagio. Julia Lunsford, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Brian Maxim. Oksana Salam, graduating with high honors. Jason Tabora, graduating with honors. Ashley Morris, graduating with honors. Giselle Pucci. Alexia White, graduating with high honors. And JC Tate, graduating with high honors. Mr. Jett, will you please join me again at the podium?
Will all of the graduates please rise? Mr. Jett, I would like to present the class of 2018 graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools. They await your confirmation. Graduates, I confirm you as 2018 graduates of Treasure Coast High School, Titans. Turn your tassels. Congratulations. Graduates, please remain standing in preparation for our recessional. This afternoon has been a wonderful experience for our students to honor their accomplishments. Words cannot express my pride, and I wish all our students great success. Again, congratulations. As we begin our recessional, I ask the audience to remain seated until the last graduate exits the gym and returns to rooms A and B. Treasure Coast High School administration on stage, please join me in the recessional.
I would like to welcome to the stage the senior class president, George Estrada, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Be seated. <clears throat> I would like to present to you our principal, Mrs. Susan Seal. Now it's my privilege to introduce our special guests. Dr. Donna Mills, Chairman of the Board, representing District 3. <laughs> Mrs. Debbie Hawley, Vice Chairman of the Board, representing District 1. <laughs> Ms. Carol Hilson, School Board Member, representing District 2. <laughs> Mr. E. Wayne Gent, Superintendent of St. Lucie Public Schools. <laughs> Dr. Jonathan Prince, Deputy Superintendent. Dr. Kevin Perry, Assistant to the Superintendent. Mrs. Latricia Woolard, Executive Director of Schools. Ms. Lisa Davenport, Assistant Principal. Mr. Alex Oje, Assistant Principal. Ms. Regina Roberts, Assistant Principal. To the parents, guardians, friends, relatives, and staff of Treasure Coast High School, I say good evening. I would also like to acknowledge the honored guests and dignitaries who are sharing the stage with me today. Thank you for your support in helping us celebrate this occasion. To the students in the audience, I say good evening and congratulations. I am so honored to be able to address you today. You are a special group of young people and we are all here to celebrate your achievement. I'd like to speak to you today about the importance of counting up. Too often in our lives we hear the term countdown, while most times countdowns refer to very positive events such as graduation, weddings, the launch of a rocket, shopping days till Christmas, New Year's Eve, they epitomize the event as being the ultimate goal for the current time. Once we've completed the countdown, what next? 
there's usually a feeling of letdown. That's it? It's over? What's next? How do we move on past the life event? How do we find the next opportunity to count down? Instead of feeling bombarded with these questions, I'd like for you to flip this concept. And instead of counting down, begin to count up. After all, this is the way you were taught to count when you were a toddler. You began with one and worked your way upward. Do you remember the celebrations and the applause and the recordings as you gained each goal? You were bragged on. <gasps> he can count to 10. <gasps> she can count to 20. <gasps> Listen to him count by tens. Many of you actually still use this technique daily in your life. How many of you are gamers? Uh, little high here. Guess what? You are already adept at counting up because the game designers recognize the appeal that rising to a new level releases dopamine, which is the good neurotransmitter in your brain. And you immediately respond to that by setting new goals for yourself and begin to strive to meet them. Who knew? So I'd like to encourage you to expand your skill of counting up to setting and achieving your professional goals. Take the first step you need to accomplish that goal, and in the classic words of Nike, just do it. Many of you have already accomplished steps in your professional career with industry certifications and advanced coursework. You are well set up to count up to the next step. Others of you may begin setting those professional goals now that you've graduated. Some of you have shared with me that you're frightened at setting out. That's okay. Set that first achievable goal, take the first step and accomplish it. The second step will become much easier because you've already accomplished the most basic and concrete part of your goal and continue to count up to your next level. Also, count up personally. Many of you have developed friendships in school that will last you through your lifetime. Enrich your personal life by inspiring and affirming your friends. Count up each time you're able to develop your friends and enrich their lives. Help them to see the benefit of counting up as well. Finally, count up politically. I was astonished to discover during our top 25 luncheon that many of our seniors have not registered to vote. This is the time for you to become politically involved in your community, state, and nation. I challenge you, dig into the sound bites on the ads, the bumper stickers, and the rhetoric that you hear. Research the candidates, their backgrounds, and their stances on the agendas that matter to you. Go past the party stance and the catchy slogans and find the candidate whose views and passions align with yours and how to improve our community, state, and nation. Count up the elections you vote in. Count up for each campaign that you're involved with. Count up to see the changes that can happen when your views and the views of the elected officials make our society a better place for all. If you choose to count up professionally, personally, and politically, you will achieve your goals. You will be successful, and based on the foundation you set, you will be able to live a life you enjoy while contributing to improving the world you will inherit. Students, last, remember this one fact. You will always have an identity and a place to call home. Because you are Titan born, Titan bred. As the proud principal of Treasure Coast High School, I applaud you, the class of 2018. At this time, I'd like to ask George Estrada, the senior class president, to return to the podium to address the senior class. Good evening, school board members, Superintendent Gent, assistant superintendents, administration, family, friends, and graduates. It is truly an honor to speak before you today. It has been a long four years, but here we are, ready to graduate. We worked hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. 
we owe a huge debt of gratitude to the following people. To our teachers, thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job to do it, but what you did for us went beyond the call of duty. You demanded excellence from us whether or not we wanted to give it. You set the bar high and challenged us to live to it. To our parents, thank you for supporting us in more ways than it is possible to count. In the beginning, you dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothed for school. You herded, herded us out the door to the bus stop or drove us to school yourselves. And all the way until now, you have supported us. To our custodial staff and lunchroom attendants, thank you for keeping our school clean and safe. You know better than anyone how messy we can be. To our principal, Ms. Susan Seal, assistant principals, and all administration, thank you for keeping things running smoothly so our teachers could concentrate on us. To our guidance counselors, thank you for listening and trying to keep us on the right track for graduation. Without your help, some of us might not be graduating today. As you can see, behind each of us, there must have been at least a dozen people providing support in at least a dozen ways. The best way we graduates can show our gratitude is to make the most of the opportunity we've been given and go forward into the world with the intention of making it a better place for the generations that follow us. We'll pay that debt of gratitude forward. I have gotten to know I have gotten to know a lot of you over these years, and I can honestly say that this graduating class is full of potential. We are a diverse student body with a diverse set of goals, and if we are able to fulfill our potential, we will change the world because all of our individual accomplishments are also the world's accomplishments. I have met some of the most talented and hardworking individuals here at Treasure Coast High School who will have no trouble completing the task of changing the world. My challenge to us is to find what we love and dedicate ourselves to it fully. I'd like to finish off with this quote from John F. Ken John F. Kennedy. We must find time to thank those who have made a difference in our lives. As the saying goes, tighten bread. That's not how it goes. <laughs> tighten born, tighten bread. We will change the world. Thank you. Thank you, George. It is now my pleasure to recognize a number of students that have worked very hard on their studies throughout their high school experience. I would like to recognize the students with honors designation. Please stand. Thank you. The students with high honors, please stand. Thank you. The next student I have the privilege of introducing is our salutatorian, Ashwara Kurluri. Ashwara's family is here today to support her. Ashwarya, will you please join us on stage? As a dual enrolled student, Ashwarya completed all requirements and was awarded her Associate of Arts degree from Indian River State College, as well as the Advanced International Certificate of Education, ACE diploma, through the University of Cambridge simultaneously with her high school diploma. She has served in leadership roles as a part of the National Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society, Key Club, Student Council, and HOSA. She has plans to double major in neurosciences and environmental studies and has aspirations of becoming a neurosurgeon. Ashwarya has earned a 6.05 weighted GPA. During her time at Treasure Coast High School. Everyone, please welcome the class of 2018 salutatorian Ashwarya Kaluri. Good evening, school board members, Superintendent Gent, Assistant Superintendents, Administration, 
family, friends, and graduates. I would like to first thank my parents for their countless contributions that have helped me shape my future. I'm especially grateful for the support of my grandfather today as he traveled all the way from India to see me graduate. I am also thankful for the support of my friends who have kept me grounded and for supporting my future endeavors. Good evening, class of 2018. We did it. We're graduating. We have overcome every challenge that has been thrown at our way to be in this exact moment. I've encountered a number of individuals throughout my high school career, and it is amazing to see the dedication and hard work everyone has exhibited. The class of 2018's graduation rate is the highest in Treasure Coast history. The future for all of you is bright. I can go back and reflect on the last four years. Instead, I think it's more important to focus on where we will be in the next four years. Whether it's baking great bread, making up laws in the Senate, teaching future generations, or creating new music, all of us must make sure the word success is associated with what we do. Success is not given, it is earned. The journey to success will contain many ups and downs, and it might not always go as planned. And that is the message I'll be sharing with you guys today. Do not lose sight of your end goal based on the circumstances you are temporarily placed in. You will be pushed to your breaking points and you might even question your decisions to great extents, but trust the process. The future is in our hands. We have the power to be the change we wish to see in the world. The class of 2018 will make that change. Wherever the roads may take us after this day forward, always be true to yourself and follow your passions. I know the class of 2018 will be successful, and we are more than prepared for what the world throws our way, because we will fight for our dreams, and no one can silence our words. So what do you say, class of 2018? Do you think the world is ready for us? <laughs> Thank you, Ashwarya. I'd like to present you with this ring donated by Herf Jones in recognition of your academic achievements as our class salutatorian. At this time, I'd like to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2018, Alice Artica. Alice, please join us on stage. Alice is joined this evening by her parents, siblings, and other proud family members. Alice earned her Associate of Arts degree from Indian River State College in just a year and a half. She is also the first Treasure Coast High School student to receive her Advanced International Certificate of Education, ACE Diploma, as a sophomore. She has been a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, French Honor Society, Academic A-Team, and St. Lucie Youth Leadership Council. Alice was accepted to several prestigious universities, including Stanford, Princeton, and Brown. She has ultimately decided to attend Stanford in August as they offer a human biology pre-med track where she can focus on social and cultural global health. Alice has earned a 6.22 weighted GPA. During her time at Treasure Coast High School, everyone please welcome the class of 2018's valedictorian, Alice Artica. Good evening, school board members, Superintendent Gent, assist Assistant Superintendent, Administration, family, friends, and graduates. Wow, it is an honor standing here today and speaking in front of all of you. Before I start my speech, I would like to thank God for giving me the strength, courage, and determination throughout my four years of high school. <laughs> Second... Secondly, I would like to give my mother and father a huge shout out as they are the foundation of my support system and the main reason why I'm here today. I remember, <laughs> thank you. 
I remember the days when I would come home from school worried, stressed, with high alarming levels of anxiety, and my parents would be the one who stopped what they were doing and ask me, Alice, how was your day? Are you okay? My parents, alongside with my two sisters, became my biggest supporters, so I hope I've made you all proud. At this time, I would like to personally thank my family members for being here today and tell them how much I love them for all the sacrifices they have made. Mami, papi, Alessa, Esther, los quiero demasiado. Le doy gracias a Dios desde el fondo de mi corazón por darme una familia que me ama y me apoyan incondicionalmente. Education to me means more than just getting good grades or staying up all night studying. To me, education is my gateway for breaking all the barriers that are set on, stere uh, that are set on immigrants. I came to America from Honduras when I was in middle school. Although I knew conversational English, I still struggled in school because my educational background was very limited. In all honesty, I didn't know how to write an essay. I didn't even know what an essay was. My science skills were limited and my math skills way, were below way um, average. Um, and throughout the four years of high school, because of hard work and determination, I can say that I've developed a lifelong love and passion for the thing that once brought me so much confusion and frustration, my education. However, I'm not going to stand here today and give you a lecture about the meaning of education. I just want to say how proud I am of everybody here. As I look at our diverse class of 2018, all I see, the, the word conquer comes in mind. Take a moment to acknowledge how far you've made it. All of us has gone through struggles and hardships, but together we sit here in union, celebrating and finishing one of the most important chapters of our lives. Truly appreciate your success and be the inspiration of our future class. I would like to finish with something that has given me strength throughout my high school years and will continue to do so. Joshua 1.9 says, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So class of 2018, I hope that you remain strong and courageous and you find that special something that gives you strength. Keep on conquering the world. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Alice. I would also like to present you with this ring donated by Herf Jones in recognition of your academic achievements as valedictorian. Mr. Gent, would you join me at the podium, please? Distinguished members of the school board and Superintendent Gent, as principal of Treasure Coast High School, I present to you the graduating class of 2018. I certify that they've met the graduation requirements of the school board of St. Lucie County and the state of Florida. I accept the 2018 class at Treasure Coast High School. This is Cecil, you may now award their diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Jett. At this time, our guidance counselors for the upper school, Ms. Parham, Ms. Kelly, Ms. Corda, Mrs. White, will now begin the roll call. Please raise the first line. Laura LaFleur, Daniel Lagman, graduating with high honors, Louis Dania Laguerre, Rihanna Lal, graduating with honors, Darlene Lamberti, graduating with high honors, Priscilla Lang, graduating with honors, Alexis Lapidus, graduating with honors, Elijah Larcom, Georgia Lawrence, graduating with high honors, Leah Levish, graduating with honors. Christopher Lee, graduating with honors. Omar Lee. Precious Lee. Johnson Leon. Caitlin Leonard, graduating with high honors. Brianna Leonardo, graduating with honors. Danielle Lerman, graduating with high honors. 
Troy Lassard, Victor Licea, Kayla Lichtenfels, Juliana Lima, graduating with honors, Tyre Linares, graduating with high honors and his AA degree, Taylor Lindis, graduating with high honors, Logan Latardo Vargas, Alexander Lopez, Jesus Lopez, Caleb Lopez, Melanie Lopez, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Gerna Lormagist, graduating with high honors. Augustine Lociavo. Victor Lotina. Tyreek Lott. Rodney Luima, graduating with high honors and his ACE diploma. Beverly Lusaint, graduating with high honors. Logan Lowry, graduating with high honors. Alexandra Lubin. Hideki Luke, graduating with honors. Alyssa Luongo. Madison Lutz, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. John Madrid, graduating with high honors. Emily Madrid, graduating with honors. Bianca McGlure, graduating with high honors, her AA degree and her ACE diploma. Brianna McGlure, graduating with high honors, AA and her ACE degree. Sansare Maisie. Samuel Mindell. Austin Mamo. Nika Manigat. Marcus Mann, graduating with high honors. Jeremy Mantovi, graduating with high honors. Justin Marr, graduating with his a a high honors and ACE degree. Justin Marcano. Louise Marius. Kalita Marklin, graduating with high honors. Zachary Marquise. Colby Merrill, graduating with high honors. Devin Martinez, graduating with high honors. Javier Martinez, graduating with honors. Sabrina Martinez. Sebastian Martinez, graduating with high honors. Casey Martin Vagy, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Anthony Martorelli. Ashley Masabanda, graduating with high honors. Brandon Massey, graduating with honors. Savannah Matos. Javante Matthews, graduating with honors. Gianna Mazzuccelli, graduating with honors. Lockley McBean. Ella McDonald, graduating with high honors. Crystal McFarlane, graduating with high honors. Ashlyn McGraw, graduating with honors. Chris Ann McLoon, graduating with honors. Joseph McNamara. Deanna Mejia. Matthew Mendez, graduating with high honors. Aaron Mendoza. Neftali Metellus. Rebecca Metellus, graduating with honors. Robert Miguel Hakeem. Kira Miller. Darshell Miracle, graduating with high honors. Joseph Moraglia. Naomi Miranda Bravo, graduating with high honors. Ashley Moncor, graduating with honors. Jasmine Montanez. Gianna Montesano, graduating with high honors, her AA degree and ACE diploma. Leonardo Montez. Jasmine Moore. Kevin Morales. 
Gabrielle Moran, graduating with high honors. Samantha Morera, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Owen Morgan, graduating with honors. Christian Morino. Daniel Mora, graduating with honors. Anaya Moat. Malik Robin Moat Robinson. Jordi Munoz, graduating with honors. Ryan Munson, graduating with honors. John Masachulo, graduating with honors. Noelia Navarez Lopez, graduating with honors. Jasmine Navarro, graduating with high honors. Natalia Navas, graduating with high honors. Marcus Nesca. Ethan Neville, graduating with honors. Courtney Nichols. Brandon Nielsen. Thomas Nakakis, graduating with high honors. Cedric Noel. Guadalupe Novoa, graduating with high honors. Alejandro Nunez. Christian Nunez. Crystal Nunez. Kiara Nunez. Mike Olesko, graduating with honors. Chase Olson. Isaiah Ortega, graduating with high honors and his AA degree. Luz Ortiz Velez, graduating with high honors. Samantha Ortiz. Cameron Osterhout. Crystal Overstreet. Denia Pace, graduating with honors. Idalis Palmino. Kasabian Parham, graduating with honors. Chris Perret Rebelar. Molina Paulino. Jesus Paz, graduating with high honors. Devin Peck. Emmanuel Pena Gomez. Rafael Pennant. Rebecca Peraza, graduating with honors. Anthony Perdue. Bernice Perez. Austin Perez, graduating with honors. Veronica Persad, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Destiny Piquel. Derek Pierre. Tyler Pearson, graduating with honors. Alexia Pinder, graduating with high honors. Michael Pino. Tiana Pittman. Austin Pitts, graduating with high honors and his AA degree. Chase Plagman. Stefan Poinville, graduating with honors. Salvatore Poliandro. Carolina Ponce, graduating with honors. Crystal Pood. Samuel Poole, graduating with honors. Trayvon Porter. Tracy Ann Powell, graduating with honors. Enzo Prado, graduating with high honors. Steven Pernellis. Reggie Prevalon. Slater Price. Talia Prophet, graduating with high honors. Shekinah Providence, graduating with high honors. Ariana Pryor, graduating with honors. Ashley Pusey, graduating with high honors, her AA degree and ACE diploma. Lily Qualls, graduating with high honors. Logan Quinlan. Andre Reeves. Chris Ray. 
Savannah Rear. Matthew Reese, graduating with honors. Rubens Renee, graduating with high honors, his AA degree and ACE diploma. Elisette Renteria, graduating with high honors. Jordan Resendez. Amira Richardson, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Schneiderson Rimpel. Alian Rios, graduating with high honors. Eileen Rios, graduating with high honors. Joseph Rios, graduating with high honors, his AA degree and ACE diploma. Brittany Raspoli. Derek Rivas. Aiden Rivera, graduating with high honors. Charlene Rivera, graduating with honors. Julian Rivera. Andrew Rizzo, graduating with honors. Alyssa Roberson, graduating with honors. Haley Roberson, graduating with high honors. Anastasia Robert, graduating with honors. Daniel Robert. Annalise Robertson, graduating with high honors. Brent Rochester, graduating with honors. Amali Rodney, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Desiree Rodriguez, graduating with honors. Judith Rodriguez, graduating with honors. Sabrina Rodriguez. Sergio Rodriguez. Alicia Rowe, graduating with honors. Eddie Roldan. Gabriel Roman. Leandro Romero, graduating with honors. Kevin Rosendahl, graduating with high honors. Gavin Roy, graduating with honors. Chloe Royals. Madison Ruffin, graduating with honors. Skylar Ruffalo, graduating with high honors. Danielle Russell, graduating with high honors. Michael Sa, graduating with high honors and his ACE diploma. Sebastian Saavedra, graduating with high honors. Razan Sabha, gra graduating with... Emily Sa. Whitney St. Fleur, graduating with honors. Marie St. Fleury, graduating with high honors. Victoria Salmaron, graduating with honors. Anaya Sanchez, graduating with high honors. Dacia Sanchez. Elizabeth Sanchez, graduating with high honors. Viviana Sanchez. Luz Sanchez. Joshua Sanchez Rodriguez, graduating with honors. Troy Sanders. Zachary Seidel, graduating with honors. Kenya Santizo. Gregory Schaefer, graduating with honors. Angel Scoggins. Peyton Santa, graduating with high honors, her ACE diploma and her AA degree. Odidra Shrivens, graduating with honors. 
Kayla Serrato, graduating with high honors. Collie Seawood. Mercedes Sexton. Aiden Seymour, graduating with high honors and his ACE diploma. Elijah Shaw. Edward Shepard. Samantha Silva, graduating with honors. Ajan Sims, graduating with honors. Dernisha Simon, graduating with honors. James Sloaninsky, graduating with honors. Alyssa Small, graduating with high honors. Kevin Smiley, graduating with honors. Jalen Smith, graduating with high honors. Jordan Smith, graduating with honors. Jordan Smith. Najee Sims. Hunter Snow, graduating with honors. Jadakiss Soto. Gary Sparling. Marissa Spacuza. Kayla Serbrenik, graduating with high honors. Ashley St. Place. Owen Staker, graduating with honors. Dylan Stassen. Jacob Steele, graduating with honors. Rory Stevens, graduating with high honors. Allie Rose Stewart, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Anika St. Hilaire. Ralphie St. Hilaire. Jeremy Streeter. Colin Strickland, graduating with high honors. Rosario Sucato, graduating with high honors. Ryan Sutton, graduating with honors. Jessica Suwon, graduating with high honors. Christina Swindle. Taylor Swires, graduating with honors. Emily Talees, graduating with high honors. Fritz Taluzma. Courtney Terry, graduating with honors. Katie Test, graduating with high honors. Jamie Tawari, graduating with high honors. Murfa Timothy, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Brianna Thomas, graduating with honors. Deshaun Thomas. Sean Thomas, graduating with honors. Brittany Tippy, Brayden Tamala, graduating with honors. Nikki Tomchek, Stanley Tomchek, graduating with honors. Giselle Topping, Sydney Torres, gradu graduating with honors. Alberto Torres, Christian Torres, graduating with honors. Colin Torres. Ernestly Toussaint. Kimberly Trexler, graduating with honors. Jesse Tweedle, graduating with honors. Eileen Via Fuentes, graduating with honors. Aaron Vandermal, graduating with high honors. Helena Vargas. Dan Daniela Varque Vaquez, graduating with high honors. Alberto Velasquez. Esther Velasquez. Isabel Vergara, graduating with high honors. Philip Vincent, graduating with honors. Jean Volmar, Ben Vu, 
Amber Wall, graduating with high honors. Jordan Waldron, graduating with high honors and his AA degree. Thomas Walters, graduating with high honors. Ekahop Wangham Klang, graduating with honors. Jalen Washington. Taylor Watson, graduating with honors. Brent Wheeler. Alexandra White, graduating with high honors and her AA degree. Alyssa White, graduating with high honors. Rachel Wilder, graduating with high honors. Elijah Williams, graduating with high honors. Jeremiah Williams, graduating with high honors. Kaylee Williams. Layla Williams, graduating with honors. Lindell Williams. Terrence Williams. Lorise Wilson. Rashida Wilson, graduating with honors. Hakeem Went. Samuel Woodham, graduating with high honors. Haley Yates, graduating with high honors and her ACE diploma. Rashawn Yates. Jason Yurek, graduating with high honors. Claudia Yuk. Blanca Zendeas. Salvatore Zeno, Jaime Hernandez, Karan Fairfax, Corday Charles, Alexa Fabrice. Congratulations. Mr. Gent, will you please join me again at the podium? Will all of the graduates please rise? <laughs> Mr. Gent, I present the class of 2018 graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools, they await your confirmation. Treasure Coast Titans, class of 2018, I confirm you as graduates. You may now move your tassels. Graduates, please remain standing in preparation for our recessional. This evening has been a wonderful experience for our students to honor their accomplishments. Words cannot express my pride, and I wish all of our students great success. Again, congratulations. As we begin our recessional, I ask the audience to please remain seated until the last graduate exits a gym and returns to rooms A and B. Treasure Coast High School administration on stage, please join me in the recessional.
proudest moment as a Titan, I'd say is more of a time span. Um, I'd say it'd be December to January of this year. Um, in January, I got selected as a Young Fury recipient and I ended up winning for my category. Around this time frame as well, I, um, I got awarded a pilot scholarship at Embry-Riddle, a full ride scholarship with the Air Force, so I was pretty happy about that. But a few weeks prior to this, um, my uh, ROTC program replaced first place overall at a national competition, which was the first time we'd ever done. Technically, we got disqualified, but if our, we hadn't, our scores would have been first place overall. And we were very happy to make history with that program. There's so many moments for me to choose from. Personally, like being in the ACE program, getting my ACE diploma is one. But I think if I had to choose my proudest moment as a Titan, it would be um, this year, my senior, se senior season, playing basketball against Vero Beach. It was a close game, and we won that game by I think one point, but that's the game I played probably the hardest I've ever played and you know just to win that game and come out from that battle with my teammates and my coach, it was a very gratifying moment. So uh, that's when I realized what it really meant to be a Titan. My proudest moment of being a Titan is completing my two academies, which include drama in which I was able to be a part of stage production and performing, and my other academy, medical, in which I completed four certifications, including my nursing assisting, in which I will be using later on in life. My proudest moment in being a Titan would probably have to be when I ran for student body president, because I got to meet a lot of new students and faculty and staff and it just opened me up to a lot of people I didn't know, and um, I found out that Titans are really great people. So the proudest moment I had at the school and in being a Titan is participating in the school walkout that we had in um, regards to the school shooting that happened on Valentine's Day this year, and being able to utilize the leadership skills I've been able to acquire through youth leadership and through National Honor Society and other school organizations was very empowering and it was just um, super great to see how other people and how teens could have an impact on the issues that affect our community. Best thing about my school, I'd say Treasure Coast offers countless opportunities to develop leadership skills and grow as a better person. Um, they have many, many student-run groups such as band, ROTC, National Art Society, sports, and other various amount of clubs. Um, these clubs offer many opportunities to get out in the community. For example, RTC, we have Adopt the Road, where we go clean up Darwin. Um, band, we have many volunteer opportunities where we go and play for middle schoolers. Or I'm sure these other clubs do as well. Um, Treasure Coast just develops students into mannerly, disciplined, and very intelligent people. And it's why they develop the cream of the crop. The best thing about Treasure Coast High School is that you're surrounded by people that want to see you succeed. Like you have teachers that do go the extra mile in the classroom to make sure that you understand the material or if you don't understand it, that they offer help. You have counselors that come, make sure that you're on your stuff, especially for graduation. You know, you have, you're just surrounded by an environment where it's very nurturing and that people want to see you succeed and then that kind of feeds the motivation inside yourself that makes you want to do better for yourself. So, The best thing about Treasure Coast High School is the fact that there's always a place for you here. Even when you feel like there's nothing for you here, you can always start it yourself. The diversity is amazing here. There's always new people for you to meet, new experiences for you to have. So many events that happen at Treasure Coast High School that I am very grateful for. The best thing about the school is the opportunities you have here because you have a variety of clubs that you can pursue and you can even start your own club if you're interested in that. And then you also have the ACE Academy and a bunch of other academies like the Business Academy, the Medical Academy to name a few. And that's probably what's best about the school. I think just the ease of access that we have here and the wealth of opportunities that we have at Treasure Coast High School. I used to attend International Studies Charter High School, which is a school in Miami and it's one of the top 10 schools in Florida. But the abilities that we have here as Treasure Coast students and being able to take part in programs like ACE and in um, medical academies and things like that, 
Those are pretty important and just being able to have the access to our teachers um, and being able to grow in our leadership skills and our social skills and being able to be prepared for the future as um, leaders. I would really like to thank my mom. Um, my mom, she pushes me a lot. Uh, I wasn't born in the United States, so I've had a lot of issues in the United States, and my mom, she wasn't born here either, so she's always been one person that I've always can look, for, can look towards help. Um, she's helped me with a lot of my English, and uh, she, she's always believed in me. Um, another person I'd like to thank would be uh, Colonel Cavallero. Um, I, I joined ROTC my sophomore year, and I had a lot of issues, and he, he, he guided me a lot. Um, he, he's taught me a lot about leadership, and he's made me into a very disciplined person, and I am very grateful for everything he's done for me. He was actually the one that nominated me for the Pilot Scholarship, and I am very grateful for him. Um, uh, another person would be uh, Mr. Luke Hall. He is the band director at Treasure Coast High School. Um, I've known Mr. Hall for about four years now. My first day of band was very intimidating. However, in, in the past four years, he has been the one person that has been there and has always told me the truth. Um, sophomore year, I got selected as section leader, and I messed up, and he told me, you messed up, now fix it. So, he, he's definitely taught me a lot about accepting my, my flaws, but I have to improve that, and I'm thankful for all these people that have been there for me to help me out. Uh, for starters, I'd like to thank my mom because she pushes me, you know, to be on top of my schoolwork, uh, always come to school. She's very strict when it comes to attendance. Like, I tore my ACL and I had surgery Friday. I remember, and I had two days that weekend to basically get over it because Monday I know she was gonna take me to school, so. She's the only person I know on the planet that would make me go to school after I just had surgery, but um, I definitely like to thank her. Um, I'd like to thank my sister too. She's very supportive in my achievements. My family is very supportive by the support system that I have. Um, I really appreciate that because not a lot of kids have the kind of support that I have at home, which I believe has helped me to succeed. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, my teachers too in the ACE program. So, Ms. Baylor, Mr. Larson, Maxwell, Curatolo, Manhire, all those people, they've helped me, you know, to achieve and um, attain my ACE diploma. I'd like to thank Ms. Kelly, my guidance counselor. She's been very supportive throughout this entire experience. Mr. Hendrickson too, at some point in my high school career. Um, I'd also like to thank people from the basketball team, so my teammates, you know, just as far as giving me like two of the best seasons of my life. And I, unfortunately, my season came to a, to an end mid-season, but you know, just the experience of playing with those guys, working with guys like Coach Kelly, or Coach Pruitt at the time, Coach Ellis, Coach Davis. Um, I also got to help the JV squad after, you know, coaching with them. So I'd like to just thank them for that experience. and. Um, I'd like to thank Miss Seela also too, because she's always, you know, a positive light around me, you know, and she always makes me feel better about myself and makes me feel like a titan, so. I would like to thank my parents who are the definition of hard work and everything I've done here at Treasure Coast is really for them. I'd also like to thank the theater department who have become my second family and have allowed me to have the pleasure of becoming their leader and allowing me into their lives and helping them as performers. Well, first I would like to thank uh, Mr. Maxwell and Ms. Baylor for allowing me to join the ACE program late into my high school career, and I'm thankful for that. And then Ms. Kelly, my guidance counselor, for helping me with basically everything throughout high school, college is everything. And Ms. Chapa, the leader of the Business Academy, because I've grown close with her and she's helped me develop as a person. So I'm really thankful to everyone in my life, especially my family, my mother, and my uncle and my grandmother. Being immigrants and coming here, um, overcoming the language barriers that we face, that it's really empowering day by day, seeing how my mother is able to persevere uh, through the 
adversities that she's faced and the strong work ethic I've acquired through their examples have been very helpful in my life and I'm really thankful to my teachers and um, especially Mr. Maxwell and Mrs. Baylor and I'm also thankful to Miss Kelly who's my guidance counselor and just the bond that we've been able to foster throughout the two years I've known her and I'm really thankful to all the people who've played a role in shaping me into the person I am today. One thing I would just like to say is that um, my senior year, a lot of the times going into senior year, everybody has these expectations that, oh, my senior year is going to be this, it's going to be that. And what I've learned from this senior year is that nothing really goes as expected. So like we may have had plans, you may have had like expectations, and then the reality is none of them actually happen. Like, for instance, uh, my team, I thought we were gonna win a state championship and we didn't. Or I thought that I was gonna be able to play college basketball, but midseason I tore my ACL. So like a lot of those things, you know, just we have expectations and then we don't meet them, but at the same time, it's not a bad thing. It's just part of life, you know, so it's a learning experience and I'm grateful that I could have that here, so. I really believe in the phrase, be the change you like to see in the world. Although we are young, we are capable of so much more, and I can't wait for us to prove that to everyone.